Chris. Thank you for joining me. So today we're going to make a Halloween theme decoration for your house and it's going to be a spider web and spiders. So in the stores what I have found is that most of the spider webs that you can find are white. So if you have a white wall you won't be able to see anything. Only the spiders are black. So I thought well there's another way to do this is by making your own. So I'm going to do one. It's so simple and it's really cost effective because the only thing that you will have to buy is some yarn. I have bought a big one and it's quite thick. Okay, the yarn is really big and thick so it's going to make it easier to put the, the web together and also to make the pom-poms for the spiders. It's really, really easy. Um, it's not going to be expensive at all. You can do this, of course, in any size, depending on the size of your wall. You can do several, maybe some small ones, bigger ones, a huge one on a big, big wall. You could also probably do that out in the outside, maybe in between trees as well. So yeah, I thought that we needed something to put on a white background so it's going to stand up a lot. So with no further ado, let me show you how this is done. Okay, so now what we're going to use is our yarn and we're going to do straight lines like this in different lengths. Okay, it's Halloween. It doesn't have and it should not be perfect because nothing's going to be perfect. It should look a little bit crooked, okay? And that's totally fine. It's better this way. And we're going to make some lines that are going to cross somewhere in the middle. It doesn't have to be perfect again. And for this, you're going to use um, adhesive, one side adhesive. And I already pre-cut mine quite a lot. And I'm going to start here, make a line, put it there, and put my tape. And we're going to continue doing this until we're happy with our shape. So I'm going to start this one here. Come down around here. And tape it down. And I'm going to continue doing this, so because I don't want you to see me do this in real time, it's kind of boring, I'm going to time lapse this video, speed it up, and I'll come back to you when this is done. Okay, so now when you're done with this, and you can put more if you want to, we're going to start by coiling from the center to the outside our web. So a little bit of adhesive here and we're going to start for example here and we're going to make our way through until we're happy with the design. Alright, now I think my spider web looks a little better. Um, again, I would take a bit more time to really finish it up and make it look a bit more realistic, but that's totally okay. Now what we need to do is create some spiders to get inside here and some big ones. So we're going to make different sizes. I'm just going to show you one, but it's going to be super easy. And we're going to keep on using our um, yarn here that we used for our web to make the spiders. So. Just with one little ball like this, you're going to be able to make a lot. So let's go to the table and start making some spiders. As you can see, I already made my little pom-pom. Again, you can make it as big or as small as you wish. I would make several of these. And you know what? I was also considering making many more of these in different sizes and then hang them from the ceiling or maybe from a lamp over your table. So at different height. So you, you would look, it would look like you have a lot of spiders coming from the ceiling, going down onto your tables. You could do this also. You could hang them from a door um, in a tree outside as well. So there are many ways to use these pom-poms and to use the spiders. You will also need some pipe cleaners. So of course I've chosen black. And for each spider, 
I'm going to use only two because it's not big enough so I don't have to use more. And I'm going to cut them in half and then cut them in half again. And I think this size is going to be good enough. And we're also going to use hot glue. And that's it. If you want to, you can add googly eyes. I do have a spider here with googly eyes. Uh, it's, it just doesn't make the spider look as scary. But you could if you want to make this for children, you don't want them to be too scared. You can put googly eyes on. The closer you're going to put the, the eyes together, the less scary it's going to look. This one was the first uh, spider I did. It's probably not the most uh, realistic spider, but we're going to try to improve this on this one. So I'm going to take the two pipe cleaners, I'm going to align them and then fold them in half. And then I'm going to cut it here in the middle. And I'm going to do that again twice. Fold them. And cut. These scissors are sheer scissor scissors. They're made, I think, for the kitchen and they're perfect. Otherwise, don't use your regular scissors for this because you're going to nick them, of course. Okay. And now, what I have found was the best way to do it so it won't look so crooked is just to kind of already put, see where I'm going to put the paws. And I think this way is one of the best way to go. All right, and then we'll put them in shape, but later I'm going to put this one. It seems a bit smaller. I'm going to put it here, and I think it's good. Then hot glue. And I'm going to put it in there. Hold it in place for, you know, like maybe 15 to 20 seconds, just to make sure that it's going to stay in place. And then we're going to repeat this to the other paws. Oh, and there comes my little kitty. Come on, kitty. Chupi. Chupi, no, please, please, please. No, no, no. I'm sorry. Oh, please. Hmm. She wants to be in the camera. She wants me to take care of her. I love my kitty. Okay, now that the glue has set, we're gonna put the paws in shape. So what you're gonna do for each paw is to put your finger next to the body here. Then you're gonna put the, um, the paw downwards, like in a 90 degree angle. Put it down like so. And then at the tip, you're gonna put it back up a little bit. So that's gonna make the paw, see? You're going to repeat this and that's going to make your spider look more realistic because spiders don't really stand straight on their toes, okay? They have something like this. It makes like a little angle. See that? So that looks much more natural and it can stand up. So now it's up to you if you want to put googly eyes or not. You could also make a mouth if you really wanted to. Not sure I'm going to do that. I might put these two not far from each other. That's good. And you've got yourself a spider. So you can make again a whole bunch of these. And now we're going to put them onto our spider web. All right, so I'm sorry. I hope I thought the video Okay, I'm sorry, I thought the video was running, I just forgot to um, press the start button, but I've glued down the spiders on my wall, so don't do this if you have wallpaper. I've used hot glue because this is paint and I can peel it off easily. If you have wallpaper, don't use hot glue, use double-sided tape or foam tape to tape your, your, um, your spiders down. You also have maybe not tape for wallpaper, but you have this kind of... Um, clay that you use also for posters that will be better if you have um, paper on your walls because otherwise I'm afraid that you might rip it off so certainly not hot glue for this uh, for me it's not an issue because it's just paint I'm gonna peel it off very very gently so I won't hurt my wall and you can make a whole bunch of these I mean really it doesn't cost a lot a um, big ball of yarn is really cheap. I paid mine and it was really big in the beginning, like under $1.50. Uh, you can find that everywhere in any kind of stores. 
Making the spiders took minutes, literally, and you can make a whole bunch. You can adapt the, t the size of the spiders and the web to the size of your walls. Put this into a corner. When you have the ceiling meets the walls, you can put a big spider there or a big spider web there. You can hang, again, your spiders as well. So there's a whole bunch of things you can do with these little little animals as well. So I hope this tutorial was interesting for you and maybe inspiring. So please give me some thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell button to get notified every time I post a new video. And of course, share on social medias, all the social medias you can, that will greatly help my channel. And if you have any um, videos, ideas that I would be able to do, I would be happy to do that for you. If you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comment below as well. And meanwhile, please everybody take care. I hope you're all doing well and see you soon for other videos. Bye.